Next up, we have an article from Alexandra here on Apple's use of Swift in Swift UI in iOS 15. Now, this is a running post that he does every year. In fact, I think I've been featuring this on Swift News since like 2018. At least that's when I started doing Swift News. But anyway, you can check out the methodology on how he finds out which uh, binaries are using Swift and Swift UI, et cetera. You can uh, look through that. But I do want to point out one thing here, right? You should take this analysis with a grain of salt, right? Believe the overall picture to be accurate. The approach has some limitations. Long story short, uh, you know, the data may not be 100% accurate, but if you kind of take a step back and look at the trend, I think that's the big takeaway from these articles. So let's scroll down and see uh, binaries uh, using Swift and Swift UI. And if we come down and take a look, right, in orange is binaries using Swift, blue is Swift UI, just look at the trend. Again, we go back to iOS 8 all the way up to iOS 15. And again, I believe I started covering this either iOS 11 and 12. And back then, the big deal was, okay, Apple's starting to use Swift internally. You know, because even back in iOS 12, Swift was still relatively new. So you could start to see you know, more binaries using Swift. And now you can see it's just really taking off. And then as of iOS 13, you can start to see the Swift UI trend. So again, the author even says it. The numbers may not be 100% accurate. No need to nitpick it. I think you can just see the obvious trend on where Apple is going, which is no surprise. And if you want to dive deeper into this article, uh, it talks about which widely used apps now appear to use Swift UI. We got books, maps, notes, weather, tips, music. You can read it, right? I'm not going to read through the whole article, but you can read through about how we did it, what's there, number of binaries, uh, the, how the programming languages are evolving that Apple uses. Obviously, Objective-C still dominant. It's what Apple was like built on. It's going to be dominant for a very long time. But again, you can start to see Swift and Swift UI uh, starting to gain steam. But if you're into all this nerdy stat stuff, uh, definitely check out this article. Uh, but again, I'm just going to go back to this uh, uh, chart here. The trend is very clear. We can see where things are heading. And like I said, it's not really a surprise to many of us. This was a clip from an iOS development news show that I put out on a monthly basis. If you like this sort of stuff and you want to see the complete show, check out my channel. I got a whole playlist of them. And if you want to check out Swift News as it's released, I put it out at the beginning of every month. See you in the next one.